Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a tutorial on this look. The new NARS lip paint that came out inspired me to do a really bold lip like this. So I am using the new um, NARS Power Matte Lip Paint. So if you are interested in finding out how to get this look, keep watching. So to start out, I've already prepped my face with foundation and concealer. I'm going to take this Japanese brush, number 836, and I'm going to go in to my Tardiest Pro palette and start with a base color in the crease. And I'm going to use the color Chic, I believe is the, or Chic, I believe is the color. It's kind of like a dusty pink color. So I'll take that color and apply it towards the corners of the lid and then also blend it up through the crease. And you want to start with the littlest amount on your brush to begin with and blend that as best as you can. It's always best to start with a minimal amount and then you can add more product as needed. After that's nice and blended out, I'm going to use the same brush with a little bit of the product still on there. And I'm going to pick the color Whimsy, which is kind of a pinkish orange color. And it's going to be a good transition shade for the corner of the eyes and then um, a little bit into the crease. And again, use a little bit of the product to begin with and add more as needed. Since this is kind of a really pigmented shade, I built up the color as needed. Then I took a smaller brush. I'm not sure the brand. I think it was just one that I got in one of my Ipsy bags. Um, I'm going to apply that whimsy shade to the corners of the eyes. I decided I kind of wanted to do like a halo look for this to focus the shimmer and bronzy look towards the center of the lid. So I'm taking that color and applying it just in that corner of the lid and then blending it towards the center. And I love this shade by Tarte. Their products are always my favorite. They have great pigment and the shadows are super blendable and smooth and creamy and just awesome for the money that you spend. It just makes it worth it. Now I want to fuse all the colors together in the crease. So I'm picking up a blending brush and I'm going to use the color bold, which is kind of a off white taupe color. And I'm going to use that as the blending shade for the middle of the crease. Once that is blended out, I'm going to apply a deeper shade in the corner of the lid. I'm picking up a Morphe M441 brush and it's kind of a thicker bristle good for adding uh, deep colors in the corner. I'm going to apply the color edgy into the corners of my lid just to add some depth and dimension to the eyes. And I find that this is always intimidating for some people when they do their eyeshadow to add deeper colors. But again, just adding little product to the brush and building it up as you go is such a good tip and it helps with application and just to make everything kind of blend smoothly together. So I wanted to smooth out the edges of the eyeshadow, make it kind of blend into the brow and get rid of those harsh edges. So I'm applying a MAC 224 blending brush this is honestly one of my favorite brushes. It's awesome to have in your brush collection. It's kind of a staple for a lot of uh, makeup lovers, so definitely pick up one. 
Um, I'm using the color, I believe it's classic is the name, and it's kind of a yellowish white color just to blend out those harsh edges and make everything look nice and pretty. And now for my favorite part, I'm taking just a simple eyeshadow brush. I believe I got this at Ulta. And I'm going to spray it with some Tatcha Dewy Spray. And what this does is it basically intensifies any sort of um, shimmery eyeshadow and makes it almost look wet on the lid. I'm using this really pretty color. It's a bronzy um, shimmer. And the name is ethereal I believe is how you say it and I'm just gonna pop that on the lid and almost dust it on the lid by pressing kind of firmly to make sure it's packing on and not um, getting any fallout which since it is wet there shouldn't be any fallout but you definitely want to pack that just in the center Oh, I just love bronzes. Any sort of bronze look is my go-to. I just love it. This color is so pretty and it just totally completes the look for me. Now I'm taking a brush and just kind of dusting away any fallout that might have fallen on my concealer from the eyeshadow. Using a Luxie 660 brush, I'm packing on some of the Kat Von D Locket setting powder and it's translucent and it basically will just set my under eye and prevent it from creasing throughout the day and it also brightens up the face kind of also applies like a matte finish um, I don't want to look too shiny for this look so it's an awesome setting powder if you guys are looking to find something um, that works really good. I love her products. She has an awesome makeup line. And of course, I'm gonna just kind of dust in the oily areas of my face just to prevent from shine coming through throughout the day. So I apply it to um, right above um, on my forehead and then my upper lip and my chin. Now I want to blend out the bottom lash line. So I'm going in with a precision brush into that same dusty rose color. And I'm going to just blend it out underneath my lash line and fuse the corners of the eyeshadow in with the lower lash line. And this will cause like that smoky effect and really make the eyes pop. I wanted to add a little drama to the lower lash line to the corner, so I went in with that deeper color, the Whimsy, um, to add a little dimension on the bottom and fuse the corners of the eyes together. When applying to your lower lash line, make sure to use a brush that's easily uh, blendable, nothing that's too stiff because you want to be able to really blend that out. Using that same eyeshadow brush that I used to apply the shimmer shade on the lid, I'm going into that same color and I'm going to dust that shimmer color along the bottom lash line, just focusing on the center, just to add a little bit of glam. And then to complete the eye look, I'm just going to go into this color Glam, which is a champagne shimmer color. And I'm going to pop that into the inner corners of the eye just to add that little pop of shimmer and make the eyes stand out. And then I decided why not use that same color and just apply to the brow bone to highlight and carve out the brows, make them look nice and pretty. So 
So going in with that same brush I used for the under eye, I'm applying NYX Finishing Powder in the color Banana, and this is going to brighten up my under eye and really make the under eyes look nice and perfect. This is one of honestly my favorite parts, is just making yourself look awake and just no bags, not looking like a hot mess, really pulling everything together, if you know what I mean. Now I'm going to use this brush by Morphe for the contour. It's a Morphe M523 brush, and I'm going to use the Smashbox bronzer in the shade Sun Kissed Matte. Taking that brush, I'm just going to apply to the hollows of the cheeks, starting at the hairline and kind of drawing it down. And if you are in the um, hunt for a bronzer, this Smashbox bronzer is awesome. It's a really good versatile bronzer for a lot of different skin tones. So definitely check it out. Once the hollows of the cheeks are done, I take that same bronzer and apply it along the hairline on my forehead and along the jawline as well, just to make that whole contour come together. And then using this MAC bronzer, Give Me Sun, with a Morphe brush, it's the M527 brush. Super fluffy, I love this brush for a bronzer, it's awesome. I'm just applying that around the face to give myself a little sun-kissed glow and uh, making sure to dust off like extra product so that I'm not going too overboard and just remember when you are using bronzer that you want to blend that into your neck just to make sure that your face is matching your body and i'm always tanner um, on my body than my face my face is always super pale so i have to make sure i blend that out really well so to finish the face i'm going to do a little blush using this luxie 514 brush and I'm using the Morphe blush palette. It unfortunately didn't have the names of the blush on it, so I can't give you the exact name that I used, but I decided to kind of mix the two colors together and go for kind of a rose color for the cheeks. So when I started applying this, I started to freak out because on camera it looks so pigmented and super dark, but um, in person it was much more subtle. So as I was applying it, I kind of got remorse, but um, I did decide to use a lighter shade and kind of fix that-ish. And then I think at this point I thought, well, no going back. It is what it is. So I did just stick with it. Time for lashes. So I'm going to curl the lashes first. After I'm done curling the lashes, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Voluminous I think that's how you say it a mascara and it's in the shade blackest black and I'm going to apply that to the lashes and this is one of my favorite mascaras it's honestly so good for the price I can spend up to like 25 bucks on a mascara and honestly this one's cheap and it does the job Ooh, girl, now it's time to shine up the face. One of my favorite parts. Taking the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter and taking this Morphe brush. It is the Morphe M501. And I'm gonna just dust that along the high points of the face to add a little bit of va-va-voom. I just love highlighter. It just makes everything look so 
If you apply that to the bridge of the nose and kind of that tip of the nose and then right above your Cupid's bow, it's gorge. All right, this is it. Testing out the new NARS Power Matte Lip Stick. And this is in the shade Rock With You. And when I first started this, I was so scared. It is so difficult to put on a dark shade, especially a liquid lipstick that is matte. And you know, if you F it up, there ain't no going back. Ooh, one lip down. Now time for the bottom. And I feel like this liquid lipstick is honestly super um, creamy. A lot of liquid lipsticks are dry. They almost make your lips feel like they're going to crack or I don't know. They're just kind of uncomfortable. So it's hard to find one that is creamy, but it like stays all day. So I really loved this line of liquid lipsticks. I can't wait to try some other colors. It's beautiful. All right, the look is coming together. Now I gotta finish off the face with some Tatcha Dewy Luminous Spray. This sets the makeup and also adds a nice dewy finish to the face. And voila! Hey guys, I hope that you liked this look. It was super fun for me to film this one. I love that Tarte palette. It's one of my favorite palettes. It has so many beautiful colors in it, matte colors, shimmer colors. And I was super impressed with the NARS lip paint. I actually really like it. Now it is very difficult to put on if you're not really good at doing lips, but I would say after a little bit of practice, you could probably get it down. So yeah, thanks for watching my tutorial. And if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys. See you next time. Cheesy.